Yeah, okay, the little red light came on, so I guess I'm live. Ha <laughs> ha, sort of. I don't feel much alive after doing all that shoveling. But he's going to try to get it out of there under his own power. So I'm going to leave you on the dashboard. And uh, we'll see what happens. i got to get him kind of angled at the right direction. And then tell him to give it the gun. We'll see what happens. Maybe we won't have to use the chain. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh. Well, he's out. We did it. He managed to get out of that horrible. She. Oh, I can't believe that the snowplow guys did that. And he was telling me that the snowplow guys uh, buried several semi trucks and trailers who were idling you know taking their you know their break time however long the DOT says they have to rest before they can get back on the road guess it didn't matter to the snowplow guy about that they actually several drivers had to put some money together and call the local contractor guy you know and he came out and basically worked his ass off with his truck to get them unstuck then he came up here to help Don get out and his hydraulics went out on him before he could get much done for Don 
So, but I guess Don is calling the guy right now to let him know these out. So, I actually didn't do much here except a little shoveling. But at least, at least that's it. So, I'll add a little bit more to this later on to give you an update on what's going on in my life. But, basically this is what's going on. Snow. Too much snow. <laughs> But it's Michigan, and it's winter. All right, catch you later.